Hello, welcome to today's class. Today's class, we are going to dive deep into what products are, the classification of products, the difference between goods and services. We are going to have a very, very detailed explanation of all these concepts. My name is Ahabo Success and it's a great privilege to be here. Now, what is products? What are products? Now, products are anything that can be offered to the market for attention. Anything that can be offered to the market for attention. That will, at the end of the day leads to transaction. That will leads to exchange. That will leads to buying and selling. That is what the products are. So products can be anything. Even this air that we are breathing in, that are selling it in the hospital. is a product. This free air that people are breathing in. During, um, let me, okay, let me bring back this. It's a little bit of um, back times, 2021. During the period of COVID-19, right, cylinders became what we call precious commodities. Because people that had COVID-19 then, they had to be attached to cylinders so that they can breathe. Okay. So air, the air that, that was free for everyone became a precious commodity to people. So products, like I've said again, is anything at all, right, that can lead to buying and selling. Anything at all that you can buy or sell is a product. Simple and clear, right? So, more examples again. Um, for example, public speakers, people that just come on stage to talk, they don't have anything they are selling, of, like they don't have any physical product they are selling, but they are selling their ability to talk, talking that is free, right, for everybody, right? They are selling it on their platform, and people are buying it, right? People are buying. You have somebody like um, Gary V, right? You have a whole lot and whole lot of different speakers. Then, for example, we have others like programmers, people that write codes, right? They are not selling anything physical, but they are paying them heavily for their service. So they have a product which is their skill set, right? They are professionals in their field. They can code, they can write codes, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I'm able to come up with awesome websites like ChatGPT, product that likes their ChatGPT, something like um, Facebook websites, Facebook app and the likes. So those are skills, right? People sell. So products can come in form of like in different, 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 different forms, right? So now we're going to look at the classifications of these products. Classifications of these products. Now the classification of these products will be in two parts, right? We'll have one the consumer products or goods. They'll have the industrial business or organizational products. Let me come again, right? Let me go again. Let me let me let me say it a little bit slower. Now, we have classifications of products. The classification of products can be in two forms. One, consumer consumer products or goods. Consumer products or goods. Two, industrial business or organizational products or goods. Right. Now, in the case of consumer products, right? When we say consumer products, right? These are products that are bought by individuals like us. Singular entity, one person, two person, three person, for their final use or simple, right? Product that like end products, end products, end products. For example, for example, right? Your phone. So individuals will go and buy phone. So those kind of people that want to go and buy phone, phone is a finished goods. The people that will go and buy that finished goods, we call them consumer products. We are classified all of them under consumer products. Now, under consumer products, right, we have different categories. We have different, different categories. And we are going to look at them individually and explain them in a very, very clear and simple manner. We have different categories. We have about five of them. So we are going to just take them individually, right? So sit tight and watch. Now, we have under consumer products impulse goods. So what are impulse goods? Right? Impulse goods are goods that you don't have to buy without any budget. Like for example, salt or maggi. So you just go to the market. Ah mommy, there's no maggi. Ah, so says so maggi has finished, go and buy maggi. Well, I can't remember that stuff to do that. Yeah, so they like so says go and buy maggi or ah mom, there's no crayfish. So those are impulse goods. You don't even need to budget anything for it. You just go and buy it. How much is my money? 20 naira, 10 naira. I don't know if they even still use 10 naira. 20 naira, 10 naira. Or you go and buy um, crayfish, 
Pizza, for one pack. I know about that one. Yeah, but ask me how. I know about that one. Yeah, two days square fish of 15 naira for one. Then there's two. I buy two of them for 100 naira. Or egg. Egg is 100 naira. Yeah, 100 naira for one. Or milo. Touches of milo. Right, those are impulse goods. Most guys, you can just buy on the go without thinking about anything. Right? Without like projecting it. It all really affects you much. Right? Then we also have shopping goods. Shopping goods. Shopping goods. Now, in shopping goods, right, the customer, right, deliberately goes to the market, deliberately goes to a mall, deliberately goes to where the goods are, right, and examine the products. Okay, mama, I want buy this cloth. Too. Okay, how much for this cloth? Then the, one, the person will now go to one, two, or three shops to make sure that, okay, they are not cheating me because I want to buy like this polo now, right? One person, Mr. A, told me it's 1,000 naira. Mr. B said it's 1,5. Mr. B, Mr. C said it's 2,000 naira. So, if, for example, right, well, let me come again. I want to buy this shirt, right? Now, Mr. A said it's 1,000 naira, right? Then, Mr. B says it's 500 naira. Then, Mr. C now said it's 3,000 naira. Right? 1,000 naira, 500 naira, 3,000 naira. Let me write this. So, I have 1,000 naira. Now we'll have 500 naira. Now we'll now have 3000 naira. Right? So this is shop A. Then this is another shop, shop B. Then this is another shop, shop C. Right? So if I'm shopping, right, I should need to go to at least one, two, three shops. Right? To know if these people are cheating me. Right. So, for, for example, that I did not go to shop B, right, I will not know that I will get the same exact quality for half the price. So, I will not go to shop C. Maybe shop C is a boutique. Right. And it's not possibly their fault, sure. Maybe shop C is a boutique that is a shopping mall. Right. And they are paying their dollar. I mean, they are paying their, their rent in dollar. So, you cannot expect them right, to be selling you premium service right, at 500 naira. Right, the same exact cloth, the same like no different, the same exact cloth. So therefore, that, that's what called sampling. You have to go to the market when you are shopping. You are sampling, you are sampling. You are making sure that at the end of the day, right, what you get, right, is what you, what what you want at a reasonable price. So that is what you do when you are shopping. Now we have specialty goods, specialty goods. So specialty goods, right? We are, um, they are goods that you settle down very well you settle down very 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 well like you don't rush them you settle down very very well to purchase example right a macbook pro macbook pro example iphone 14 pro max very very expensive product example car example a house example lamborghini example boat Example, yeah. So the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So specialty goods are goods that you don't just wake up one day and buy. Right? Even though you still do sampling on them, right? But you don't just wake up one day and buy. You, you project before you buy them. You can project for like two, three, four years before you can even buy them. Imagine somebody that wants to buy a ship. You can't just wake up one day and say, okay, I want to buy a ship. No, you project. So those are what we call specialty goods. Now, there's something that is called unsought goods. Unsought goods. Now, when we say unsought goods, what are unsought goods? Unsought goods are goods that, on the normal day, your mind will not go there, even though they are there. Right? They are there. But your mind will not go there. Why? Because of the circumstances around them. Example, casket. Although, definitely, because we are human and because of our nature, we all enter into the casket one day, one way or the other. Right. But we don't really plan for it. We are not like the monarchs, like the, the death of um, Queen Elizabeth, right, from the British Empire. They, they are planned for it years, 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 years before now. So that when, when she died, like everything was now looking as if it was this managed. Like it was going from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like in sequence. So that we used to have series of movies. Episode 1, Episode 2, Episode 3, Episode 4. That was already planned. But we are talking about in a normal scenario, normal life, right? Nobody plans for the casket. That would be weird, basically. So those are all called unsought goods. Now, emergencies. Emergency goods are goods that you buy because you need them. 
for a particular time because situations arise. For example, when the rain is falling, rain is falling, you need an umbrella at that particular point in time. Or, for example, right, maybe you are working online, right, and your data finish. And before now, you did not plan to actually buy data, right? So that means, I hope they explain something here critically. Just listen. That means, right, there are goods that on a normal day will not be emergency goods. But because of that particular situation, right, they become emergency goods. For example, data that on a normal day you don't even like, maybe use, then they will not say, okay, you have an exam. And during the, that course of the exam, you are writing the exam online. You let that finish. So data at that particular point becomes an emergency goods. Why? Why would it become an emergency goods? Because you need it at that particular point in time. Normally, they will not even need the data set. The link codes or the umbrella you buy, the normal day you know you need it. All you need it for when there is some. But because of situations that you find yourself in, you will not need them. Now, you now have convenience goods. Convenience goods, right? Convenience goods. Now, these are goods that you buy um, just to make yourself feel better. You're just buying them. Maybe you're hungry. Ah, I won't take sweet. Just go and buy sweet. Those are convenience goods. Or, oh, oh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, sun to do. The sun is too much. And I'm going to buy a bottle of water. Ever water. Or I'll buy pure water. Or, ah, oh, no. I need sugar. I need small sugar. My eye, my eye, the baby. And I'm going to buy Sprite or Coco. Right? These are what we call convenience goods. Now, that is that for classification of goods under the consumer kinds of goods. Now, we're going to look at the industry kinds of goods or products. So I'm using towards I'm using goods or products, right? Goods or products. So goods are a little bit kind of limited, but products is comparison. And comparison is a comparison, right? So just be with me. So now in the case of industrial goods or products, right? We have some concept that we're going to look at. We're going to look at supplies, we're going to look at installation, we're going to look at raw materials. We're going to look at accessories, we're going to look at fabrications, and we're going to look at service. We're going to look at supplies again, like I said, installation, right? Raw materials, we're going to look at accessories, we're going to look at fabrications, we're going to look at materials, and we're going to look at service also. Now, for supplies, right? These are convenience goods for the business sector. They are convenience goods for the business sector. So supplies basically, right? They are um, maybe an organization, right? They, they are things that they need to make them run. For example, petrol. For example, soap. For example, mop. For example, water. That water jar, or if you know what the water dispenser is, right? So the water dispenser you can dispense hot and cold water jar. So those kinds of goods are supplies. Those are like things that an organization needs for its daily runnings. So we call them supplies. Now, installation. Installation, on the other hand, right, they are big products like the Dangote Refinery, right? The Dangote Refinery. When, when, if, if you do your research about Dangote Refinery, you discover that there are lots and lots of Guinness World Record that it broke. Right? We just go research it. So we discover that, okay, the cooling tower, right? the refining um, chambers and the pipelines and everything, right? Those are, they were prefabricated. What do I mean by prefab prefabricated? I mean, they were already made, they were already custom made before now, just for that particular purpose, right? So now those are installations. When you, um, you carry something, large materials, and you carry it to a particular place where it is needed, for example, right, if you are building a house, right, and at the end of the day, right, you need to install gates, you need to get a gate. So when you carry the gates, which is a big product, and you put it to the house, you have done what we call installation. But we are not using it in that concept, since for the gate is individual. So we are talking about installation in terms of organizations and big corporations, right? So installation, installation, right, refers to when you are dealing with high, large, bulky products, heavy duty products, just like when organizations want to install a power plant or power them so that they can use it, 
So it's the installation you do. Or when organizations or the corporation or the government is building dams, right? There are different, different, different things you do. So you have to like build up the whole stuff, concretize it, reinforce it with different concrete. Right? So I make sure that, okay, the water pressure does not break down the shield and flows everywhere. So the series or series of things you do there is installation, like the, the thermodynamics, the different different um, circulatory or rotary parts of the system in a dam, right? So you, you, you install those parts. Now, I'm talking about raw materials, raw materials, raw materials. Now, if you have watched that movie, Blood Diamond, right? You see that, okay, they were, they were called mining. They were mining for uh, diamonds, blood diamonds. So they are mining for diamonds. <clears throat> At the end of the day, right, one of the uh, actors there saw a large chunk of diamond. Right? So that diamond is in its raw form. What do I mean by it's in its raw form? It has not been touched, right? It's as it was produced, it's as it was created. It has not been refined. Hand has not touched it. It has not gone through any series of purification. It has not been cut. Right, so raw products are products that are in their raw format that have not been processed in any way. Just like you have cassava. Cassava can be processed into gari and can process into flour and can be processed into different things. But the cassava tuba itself is a raw product. Right, so that is what I mean by raw product. Now, we also have accessories. Accessories are things that you add to make things whole. Or bits of that them, since you always work, just like you have your phone pouch. Bits of that your phone pouch, your phone will work perfectly fine. Like you really have your screen guard. Bits of that your, your screen guard, your phone will work perfectly fine. So accessories are what we call adding them, right? They just they are added to make the products more the product operation seamless. The way we have silencers in generator. Right. Maybe you have big generator, so you now put them in a silencer room so that when you own them, right, it doesn't make noise. So those are accessories. Right. Without the silencer, when you say generator not work, obviously it works perfectly fine without any hitch. But the silencer, right, is an added loop. It's just an added product. Now with or without it, the operation will function well. It's just like it will make the operation smoother. It will make it smoother. It will make the delivery smoother. Yeah, then we also have um, fabrication, fabrication, right? That is um, using local products, right? I have to just bring it down. Using local products or already or existing products, you turning those already existing or used products into another thing. For example, I am convinced, right? You, or people that have sports cars, people that have sports cars. So that your sports car, right? People can just sit down, all these, uh, what's called smiths, and smiths they can sit down right and design it to show you that okay your car that looks like mercedes best they gotta work on it eh, and make it look like a pidgeot car so these are what we call fabrications right fabrications fabrications so welding that's where welding now comes into place all those people all those welders now they, they put uh what's it called they now put something and be hitting it now be seeing flames all those deadly flames right Hitting it up, seeing to it. So, those are what they do. They fabricate, they turn an early or existing thing into another thing entirely. So, you have services, right? Like I said, when I was um, explaining this part, I said products are goods. A product is more encompassing than goods. So, for services, like I've always been saying, right? Services are things you cannot see, but you are paying for it. It happens now. Like, I'm offering a service now, I'm designing. I'm doing it now. I'm consulting for a company. You are benefiting from what I'm doing now. Um, Travis Scott, Kanye West, right? They're having a concert. Bonner Boy, he did a concert, he sold out an entire studio. What he's doing is offering service at that particular point in time, right? So, usually, most of the times, right? Services, you enjoy it at the exact time as it is going on. Because somebody is playing bad, they are playing World Cup Finals, right? Uh, we are there and we are watching it. They are rendering service to us. Right? They are playing, but they are entertaining us. Right? We could go for like a comedy show, right? We have the likes of the talker, we have Pencil, we have um, Mr. Sabinus, we have um, Macaroni and the likes all coming together 
right? So entertain us, right? So we are enjoying the service now, right? Now, 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 now.